side. Now walk up four. One, two, three, four. Now double here. That's it. You're doing fantastic. Back. A low diagonal. We're keeping up with our exercise here in the Corona Apocalypse. I got right here on my right, Carl on my left. Woo! Hi, I'm Joe, and for my trick shots, I'm doing arrow trick shots, and for the first trick shot, I'm standing on top of this Astro van, shooting it to that pellet about 10 meters away with a balloon inside with a bow with no scopes. For the second trick shot, I'm standing on top of that pink dump truck, shooting it, hitting this pellet about 20 meters away. For the third trick shot, it's really hard to see the pallet thing that I'm hitting. And so what I'm doing, I'm standing from that bobcat over there, shooting it, hitting this board right here on top of the dump truck that's pink, about 10 meters away. So for the fourth and final trick shot, what I'm doing, I'm shooting from that tree there to this cone with the target on it. The phone is in the cone and it's blocked and this thing is blocking me so you can't see me. So now I'm in the tree and this is what it looks like from the tree. And that is the cone, the target down there. Let's go! Anybody, my name is Adam. Oh, hey, I'm Kate. It's time for noon time to nano goons. Your guys' dancing was life changing to me. I, I want to dance like you guys. Obviously, if you saw my dance moves from when we did the church clap, you know I don't have them, but I'm grateful that there are those in our youth ministry that do. And so thank you, Carly, and thank you, Brittany and Catherine, for your dance moves. So, man, that was some great trick shotting. Uh, wonderful work. I loved your, uh, your form that many of you guys had. Um, your, your passion was very evident. Uh, you did a wonderful job. I think Adam is going to be giving us a little uh, Bible engagement time. Hope you guys are still engaging with your Bibles, spending time in God's Word. You got time. So let's do it. Let's make the most of it. Come on over. <laughs> What's happening, friends? It's Adam. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to just be real with you guys in the midst of this uh, this craziness that we are in um, and give you guys kind of the, just the permission to be sad and to grieve. Uh, yesterday, if you watched our Noontime Shenanigan, you saw and you've received an email that says that there will be no NTS camp um, at Houghton College this summer, um, which is super sad. And and right now I should be in the Dominican Republic with a few of you uh, serving the Lord, uh, doing great things. And it's sad and it's okay to be sad. Uh, I want to share a passage of scripture with you guys today just to remind us and put our heads on straight when it comes to thinking and grieving um, about the things that make us sad, especially uh, things that we are really excited about and have a lot of significance to us. So if you have a copy of God's word, feel free to open it up to Psalm 147. It says this, Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant, and a song of praise is fitting. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the outcasts of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. The Lord lifts up the humble. He casts the wicked to the ground. That verse, the, the verse three of this passage, um, he heals the broken heart and he binds up their wounds. Um, I, I think that some of us just need to be really sad and understand that God is near to you 
uh, that he loves you, that he is compassionate and understanding to your disappointments and your sadness based on how our world is operating right now. And I, I want you to, to feel that freedom to, to be sad in the midst of this. But we need to remember the rest of this passage. Uh, verse 4 says, He determines the number of the stars. He gives to all of them their names. Great is our Lord and abundant in power. His understanding is beyond measure. Our God is powerful. He is big and he is amazing and he is gracious. And he loves you. Um, and he understands the, the pain that you walk through. That's what's amazing about the life of Jesus, that he was a human being. He walked the earth. He, um, he stubbed his toe. He understood what a splinter felt like. He understood um, what it was like to feel rejection and sadness and disappointment. Um, and so that's the God that we serve that gets us. He understands us. He understands what we need. And so I want to just challenge you this, you know, this upcoming week, the rest of it. Feel free to grieve. And reach out to me, reach out to Kate, reach out to the other leaders, reach out to your friends, uh, and just be sad together, um, but also cling to hope, knowing that the God that we serve is big, the God that we serve is good, and that he has a plan that's going to be bigger than any of the things that we can understand in the midst of this. So I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for the word of God. I'm thankful for the freedom that we have to grieve and uh, want to encourage you guys to take some time to, to be sad and and do it together we're, we're meant to live in community as much as we can't be in physical spaces together we can communicate and we can get together in other ways and i encourage you to do that and just be sad together pray together cry it's okay um he draws near to the brokenhearted and he loves you and he's compassionate so i hope you guys have a great rest of your week i hope it's amazing I hope there's some really cool god things that come out of it that you would feel the freedom to grieve, but then also the free, feel the freedom to have joy in the midst of this. Miss you guys. You're the best. Well, thanks for that, Adam. I feel like I have learned so much. Awesome. My pleasure. I'm grateful to talk about Jesus anytime we can. So, yeah. hey, we want to we reiterate a few things to you guys, the three things that we want to bring up to you. Number one, we want you guys to remember our Friday favorite um, question that we fired out to you guys yesterday. Uh, we want you guys to share with us your favorite family tradition. So send us a quick video. Uh, let us know what's going on that hey, Adam, as well. What's your favorite family tradition? Hmm. Favorite family tradition. Well, I remember growing up and we would always open one present on Christmas Eve um, from a family member. That was always a thing. It was really fun. And typically we get Christmas jammies and wear my Christmas jammies to bed because it was really fun. So, and that continued in my 20s. So it's great. Christmas candles. What about you? Uh, also, Christmas memory came to mind. Christmas Day, we would watch all of the old Star Wars movies and eat pumpernickel and dill. That's cool. Pumpernickel and okay. dill. Okay. Dill Yeah, I know. That's, I don't like it. It's gross. So good. <laughs> anyway. The other two things we want to bring to your attention are the challenges that we put out there earlier, right? So the first one being our serious challenge where we want to challenge you guys to send a verse to a friend, somebody that you, something you've been reading, something that God's been sharing with you. Um, share that along. Last week, we challenged you guys with sharing, um, praying for other people through an audio message, maybe to send out a verse today and say, hey, I think God wanted me to share this with you. Maybe something to encourage other people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And last thing is send us an invitation. And we're going to show these next week. So imitate your favorite youth leader. Imitate one of us. Send us an invitation video. The greatest form of flattery. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. If you guys have ideas, have different segments, if you want to be a part of our show more, if you get some more student engagement, be a part of one of our, our, our shows that we fun. All right, friends. Well, we will see you guys next week. Again, my name is Adam. I'm Kate. Thanks with for tuning me. in. See you guys. Bye. <laughs>